Hochul again putting the pedal to the metal to get congestion pricing approved before President Trump takes office again. But it's not just a Republican president-elect who is against the plan. The new fee of $9 during peak hour to drive below 60th Street in Manhattan or the $3 break for drivers who pay tolls in the tunnels that starts at January 5th. Well, now the teachers union is involved, vowing to fight in court to block the pan plan. And some hospitals are complaining about the impact the fee would have on patients and employees who have to drive in. But Governor Hochul insists she's going through the controversial fee on drivers. She's going to make it happen. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett live on the east side of Manhattan with our lead story tonight. Newt. And right, Bill, as you know, this plan was designed with very few exceptions. But tonight, the governor's office is digging out from under an avalanche of new requests, among the latest from the patients and the staff at one of the city's largest hospital systems. I think they should definitely have an exemption. Patrick Parker travels from New Jersey for medical appointments at NYU Langone. John Bassick works there. They both say congestion pricing tolls are unreasonable. Oh man, I hate it. I can't stand it. For my job, I need my car. And I'm going to different hospitals, so I need to pay tolls everywhere I go. NYU Langone is one of several hospitals inside the congestion zone. Nearly 70% of patients live outside of it. The administration demanded exemptions for them and for their staff, writing in a letter to the governor, quote, nearly 20,000 NYU Langone employees work within but live outside the zone, said the CFO. It's a horrible way to fund a mass transit capital plan. It's slated to take effect on January 5th, slapping a toll on most vehicles entering Manhattan south of 60th Street. Governor Kathy Hochul is relaunching the plan that she put on hold in June. It was $15 before and now it is $9. That is a 40% reduction. Congestion pricing is intended to ease traffic in Manhattan while raising billions for the MTA. Money for new trains, new signals, electric buses, expanding the 2nd Avenue subway, and making more stations accessible to the disabled. There are exemptions for emergency vehicles, buses, and transportation for the elderly and the disabled, and for those with health conditions who must avoid mass transit. Since yesterday's announcement, the governor's staff has been deluged with requests for new exemptions. Here's how they responded to NYU Langone. Governor Hochul recognizes that many New Yorkers with health issues drive into Manhattan to see their doctor, which is one reason she insisted on making the toll 40% less expensive. Patrick Parker disagrees. Patients, he says, deserve exemptions. That would be great. I think there are a lot of cases that would, that would warrant that. So the governor's office appears to be taking a hard line on congestion pricing exemptions. Asked today his opinion of the congestion pricing relaunch, Mayor Adams today praised the governor for lowering the toll. Live tonight on the east side, NJ Burkett, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.